Hey guys, so you will need this document after getting admission, after you've made the application and you're getting ad you've gotten admitted. These are some of the important documents that you need to have in good time. One, passport. You need a passport. And sometimes getting these passports are never easy. Sometimes you can wait for so long. The amount of getting the passport can be so crazy, but start the process early. So you need a passport official passport and it needs not to it should have at least it should not expire in the next six months okay so one document you need is passport the second document you need uh for you to apply um once you've gotten admitted and now you're applying to come to the us is that you'll need your financial document um either you'll need the sponsors uh uh, bank statement you need to also have sponsors bank statement should should have should show um at least money coming in for the last six months at least a month a six month duration i think they will share with you exactly the duration but for my case i needed to show six months bank statement uh either from your parents if from your parents or your sponsor or your personal account depending on who is going to pay for your um for your stay in the u.s something that i need to clarify i'm on a full scholarship and it means that they pay for my tuition scholarship there are some of the things that they don't pay because I, I came here with my daughter they don't pay scholarship does not pay for your dependents and all that that's why they need uh, financial verification those documents they also need um you also need to have apart from the financial documents some of the university will require you to uh, have the the sponsors to sign in affidavits so you might need those affidavits so just have it at the back of your mind another thing that another document that you'll need which will be important for your visa application is that an official passport taken if you're coming to the u.s they have the specification you have to go into particular studios and have really those who understand what those uh, the passport photos are because if you don't have the passport photo that they require it will not go through it will it will bounce your application will bounce like when you're trying to apply so you need that clear uh, with a white background and they have those specification to the very to the very last you know um then you also need for those who are working you'll need an official letter uh from work just to indicate that you uh, you've been working and all that um, This will help you to show you um, When you're applying for visa to show your relationship with you know when you're asked Will you be coming back? You can easily say uh, look here I have gotten a letter from my work and the commitment is for me to come and study and go back So it's important if you can get that letter from work uh, those who have those who want to come especially in the US and uh, you're already driving okay this is a story for another day so <laughs> i i was driving in kenya but then keeping left yeah so when you come to the us you keep right so it was a whole a complete <laughs> i had to relearn my driving skills but what i wanted to share is that um if you have international driving license you can use that to drive in the us I don't know about other countries so you can use that to drive in the u.s so what i would suggest if if you can access international driving license it's cheaper for you than coming here and starting to learn um, and it will be easy for you because then you don't have to go do the learning the classes you just go in and do your exams and you know uh get your u.s driver's license and also it's important that i mention that if you are an international student you are allowed to get a, a driver license so you are i20 all they need is your i20 i think they only requested for my i20 and my passport you know so and then you you go in i i did a class <laughs> i had to do my i had to relearn my my driving skills I, I went in for classes and then i i did go in for my exam the practical exam and it was really nice i I did my classes with former um, police, uh, traffic police, and whatever. It was really good. I, I really liked that. 
when you're coming to the US I uh, also need to have they I, I don't I, mean, I don't know how other people do it but it's not safer to carry money in cash you know so I had a, a card with the backless bank that you put in your money international card you put in your money and you can always use any ATM I know the cost for me my card the international card it cost every time I withdraw money I pay three dollars for it but my money was safe because by the time I was coming to the US I didn't have a, an account in the US so the um, the card I had carried from Kenya helped me uh, do my transaction and people could uh, st people still send you money through that card because it's an international card they can send you money you can send people money but you know if you're a student you don't have money to send so you can receive money and you can withdraw it from any ATM any so for me I was using Chase so every time I'll use Chase Bank um, Chase Bank <laughs> they, they, they will uh, they will deduct three dollars then once you're in the US you can go in and open an account and you can transfer that money to your US account and again opening an account I'll share all those but opening an account in the US all you need is your your passport and your i20 yeah uh, another documents documents that you need to have uh once you've gotten admitted is that you need to do the uni the university will require you to do uh to have vaccinations so they let you know which vaccine which vaccines they want you to take and you'll have that as an official document because you have to submit it to the university and normally these they take it very very seriously and i think this will also include the covid uh, vaccination certificate i'm not sure how uh, different universities and different states work differently but for me it was a must for me to submit that among other things so if you have if you've already been sub, uh, vaccinated prior to this and you have your documents that's good but if you haven't been vaccinated on some of the things that they they'll request for you'll they let you know and another thing also um worth mentioning is that when you travel to your international whatever which, whichever country always carry those documents don't put them on a carry-on don't put don't put them on the check-in uh, you know always have them in a bag that you can access anytime because you'll be asked when you're boarding for those documents you'll be asked for i20 you'll be asked for your uh, passport almost all the times whenever you're crossing you know getting into flight even in your layover so you need to have them in your laptop bag in your carry-on bag in, where you can access it at whatever time whenever it's needed so that's it for me for today thank you so much for watching i really wish you the very best of luck and please comment and let me know where you're watching me from. Thank you. Bye.